Happy Wednesday, happy new comic book day, webheads. Guess what? It's the first time in about 12 weeks that I get to go to the comic book shop when it first opens. So that means I get first dibs on back issues. You get CGC slabs, stuff like that. So I'm super excited. What do I get this week? You'll soon find out. I'm really excited about this week's comics as well. Welcome to Spider Slayer's Comic Book Hall. Fans, this is episode 598, the weekly video series where I share with you what I pick up at my LCS, which is Comic Central, located in the city of Sanford. So if you guys are ever in the area, stop by, tell Mike Spider Slayer I sent you. They'll provide you with some great customer service. And also you can stop by on September 16th, which is Batman Day. Get a discount on your favorite Batman titles here. Here's some of the stuff in the back here that you can pick up as well and it's like a trick or treat trick or read type of thing that's coming up it's like a second free uh comic book day so that's pretty good so check that out all right so i'm not showing you the mysterious black bag today because there is no mysterious black bag there's the white semi-transparent thank you bag all right took the comics out i'm gonna have to bring some mysterious black bags in the car with me so here we go. Here is the stack of comic books. We're going to kick it off with the back issues. And the first back issue we're showing is Uncanny X-Men, issue 222. Uh, I have this book, but this is a nice high-grade copy of this book. I paid 18 bucks for it. It's an awesome cover with Wolverine doing battle against Sabretooth. That one is really, really nice. Then I decided that, hey, I needed to get more Daredevil issues, and they had some high-grade copies of Daredevil, and the first one I picked up was issue 165, where, yes, Daredevil is fighting against Dr. Octopus. So I was like, that's cool. Daredevil fighting against a Spidey villain? Why not? Then I picked up issue 180 of the series. That is a pretty dark-looking cover right there. Uh, I I had to pick this one up, so I was very excited. I do have one issue. One, I excuse me. I do have issue 181, the death of Electra already. So I decided to pass on that one, so I could pick up issue 182. I do not have this book in the collection, so that was pretty cool. I paid ten dollars for that book. All right. So now let's go on to the new comic books this week. At the end of the day, it's that big. It's not the biggest stack, which is good. I can get through my reading, and I am making uh, a few more decisions on what comics I want to buy and what I want to spend my money on. So here we go. First things first, we have World's Finest, issue 18. I think this is going to be a fun story when Clark and Bruce meet uh, for the first time. I didn't realize that that was never told before, but I guess it's going to be told in this comic right here. So this could be a lot of fun. Uh, I look at it where it was like when Supergirl went on the date with Robin, and I feel like this is kind of like a palate cleanser before the next big story arc. So looking forward to this one. All right. So I put this book on my FOC. I knew I was going to be hesitant about doing it. I should have not put it on the FOC, but we have Hawkgirl issue 206. I just really dislike the first issue. I think the artwork is very pretty. Since I did buy it, I'm going to give it a second read and see if I like it, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. I'm just not a fan of that character and her like floating corgi dog and i own a corgi like i love corgis but it just i don't know man i i just wasn't a fan of it but again it's a pretty looking book so i don't know we'll see all right then i think i don't know why this is still on my pull list i forgot to ask why am i getting this book every week i know some people are really enjoying this but this is the vigil this is issue four I read the first issue. I felt like I couldn't get attached to the characters here. So artwork looks pretty good, but I'm just not a huge fan of Rom V's writing. Uh, you know, there's some things I like, but most things I dislike. And uh, it's just one of those books that I'm probably not going to read. All right. Then we got a couple, I think we got maybe one Night Terror title, and this is Punchline. Uh, this is issue two. And Night Terror is coming to an end as we have all the final issues coming out. So, yep, so we got that one. All right, and then we have some Marvel books here. We have X-Men Red. This is issue 14. I'm checking out all this Fall of X stuff to see if it 
you know, is worthy of reading. Most of it has. It's been good follow-up stories. I'm not going to recommend Astonishing Ant-Man. I always say Ant-Man. It's Iceman because that's what wants to come out of my mouth. So we'll see what happens here. There's not much to tell because I haven't read X-Men Red in such a long time. So I want to see how this whole gala event affected Storm. All right. Then we have Ghost Rider. This is issue 17. I had to get this variant cover. This is such an awesome, awesome cover. One of my favorite comic book covers of the week. And here is the interior art right here. And I think this continues the story of what's going on with uh, Johnny Blaze, Wolverine, and this foster kid by the name of Brom who has like these dark supernatural powers and he murdered somebody and we get to see our heroes here trying to uh, solve the mystery. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. That first story was absolutely outstanding. All right, then we have the Death of Venomverse. This is issue two. I guess this is a spec book because we have this Kid Venom on here. He's the, he's the opposite of Spider Boy. So, um, you know, who knows how long he's gonna hang around for. Uh, I thought the first issue was pretty good as we had a whole bunch of Agent Venoms in there and Carnage was going after him and he's trying to steal his powers. Here we got to see, we get to see some, I don't know if that's Carnage there playing a guitar, like who knows. But it's fun looking artwork, man. I think that's cool. So we'll see what the second issue has to offer with Spider Boy. All right, and then I've been enjoying these What If Dark books, and this time it tackles Moon Knight. Um, I thought so far the best one was the Gwen Stacy book. I thought that one was really good. Let's check out the artwork in here. That, uh, that looks awesome too. So we're gonna see what goes on. I have no idea, but I always check out What If titles because I just seeing the spin on books. Oh wow, look at that. That is intense. So it's like, what if Moon Knight died? <laughs> I guess that's what it is. I don't know, man. Looks really, really cool. All right. Then we have the Uncanny Avengers. This is issue one. So we get a new uh, series to talk about for worthy ones here. Looks like a lot of dialogue, you know, a lot of narration in this book. We're going to see how this team comes to de together, what their mission is. Uh, here's the artwork here. Looks pretty nice, right? Uh, this book, just so you know, is a $5 comic book. And we'll see, you know, who's on the Uncanny Avengers. So it looks like a mix of, obviously, mutants and Avengers. All right. Then we have a couple of uh, independent comics. We have Void Rivals. This is issue three. I'm not opening this book up because <laughs> the first issue was, like, wild. And... I heard that there's two appearances in this issue. I'm not sure who it is, but I'm not opening up because if there is something special, I don't want to get spoiled by looking through it. But Void Rivals is a solid book here. We got to see our heroes wind up getting captured in this spaceship and this crazy creature captures them. So how are they going to escape from this? Who knows? They had to escape from a planet, they pieced together a spaceship, and now they're captured. Great stuff by Robert Kirkman. All right, guys. So I'm just going to take a minute here because the shout outs are back and now we're calling in, calling them the Webhead shout out. The first shout out goes to Jonathan who says Ghost Rider Wolverine Weapons of Vengeance was badass and check it out. I definitely had to put this on the shout out because I agree 100%. You guys want to want to check out Benjamin Percy's story here with these two characters. Our next shout out goes to Derek who says, wanted to share my 2023 US 127 yard sale finds. Supposedly this is the largest yard sale in the world. Check out these amazing Spider-Man issues he picked up. That is great. I wonder how much he paid for them. Congratulations on those finds, Derek. All right, then we have Evan here. He says, <laughs> Are these good books? I would say so, man. These are awesome. He's got some great, amazing Spider-Man. He's got some Secret Wars. He's got that Hulk issue with Wolverine. Dude, if you ever want to send my way, Evan, hey, I'm, I'm here. You could always message me because there's a couple books there that I don't own. <laughs> All right. And then we have... Uh, Ricky, who says, picked up these two items today. Haven't seen Transformers the movie since it first came out. 
back in 86. Excited to watch it this weekend. I have an old copy on DVD of Transformers, the movie. I would love to own that movie in Blu-ray, uh, up that quality there. And then he's showcasing his amazing Spider-Man issue 300. Great stuff there. So if you guys want to join the group, make sure you go on to Facebook and search for Comic Book Corner 2.0 Web Hedge Unite. You just got to answer a few questions, abide by the group rules, and I will approve you, and then you will have access to all this great comic book content and a wonderful community here. We talk about everything and anything that has to do with comics, whether it's books you picked up, CGC hauls, questions, polls, all kinds of stuff like that. And guys, you never know when you could get shouted out on future new comic book day hauls. Continuing on with the haul, we got another new number one, and this is from Kelly Thompson. This is The Call. This is like an 80s book where it's like kind of like Goonies inspired type of thing. And these kids, oh, wow, the artwork is really gorgeous in this. Look at the color tones, man. So it looks like these these kids have to, oh man, I totally forgot what the book was about. And I talked about it last night. But again, it's like a mix of Stranger Things and Goonies and stuff like that. So I think this could be cool, man. This could be much better than Kelly Thompson's last book, which was what, The Black Cloak? So yeah, you guys might want to check this one out this week. All right, then we have the continuation of Star Signs. This is issue four. This is kind of cool as an apocalyptic situation happens uh, in this series, and we see all these random people wind up getting like zodiac sign powers, and they're like being recruited, and one girl is trying to like steal all their powers. So it's pretty neat. It's not bad. It's written by Solomon Ahmed, and uh, I've enjoyed it so far. And it's a pretty quick read, uh, but it's good. I like it. All right. Another indie this week. We wind up getting Something is Killing the Children, issue 32. Uh, it's such a great book. We get to see Cutter going after Erica Slaughter. She's missing her um, little doll that gives her her powers. And it's just like she feels weakened or uncontrolled without it and whatnot. And we get to see um, uh, the mentor of Erica Slaughter looks like she's rejoining her ranks. Maybe they're looking to team up once again. I love this book, man. Every single issue I look forward to reading. So that's something that is killing the children. Issue 32. All right. So now it looks like we got some more Marvel stuff. So we got Spider-Man issue 11. I didn't realize this series were, it was ending. This is the actual last issue of it. Uh, and you get to see Spider-Boy team up with Spider-Man. So that's pretty cool. And then Spider-Boy is going to get his own ongoing series. I like how Dan Slott used this series to introduce the character, give him a little bit of legs before he gets his own series. I like that. A lot of spec behind the character. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the future there. <laughs> ah, I did get it. Iron Man Annual Issue 1. So it's a continuation of the Contest of Chaos. Obviously, I put this on my pull list because it was an Iron Man annual and I read the series. So this is going to continue off of that whole contest of chaos situation. It looks like Storm and Iron Man are going to go battle against each other over some kind of uh, dark hole item or whatnot. So I don't know. Maybe it's better than the last one, but I don't feel like this story has any real meat to it. So we'll see, man. We'll see. All right, and then we got some more Death of the Venomverse stuff. Check out that variant cover. Oh my gosh, that is so cool, man. I put that on the FOC just for a cover buy. Look at that extended ass tongue right there. That is insane. And then I got this Felicia one. I thought this one was nice, the little sketch variant there. So that's cool. And then we have Dark X-Men issue one. So who are the Dark X-Men? This is the first appearance of this team. Obviously, we got Madeline Pryor here, and we got Havoc there as well. Let's check out the interior artwork. Is that worth, you know, worth it? Yeah, looks good. I like the way Madeline Pryor is drawn in here. And uh, what's the point of this team? Like, I have no idea. Maybe they're just the X-Men of Limbo? I don't know. There's a lot of texting going on in the white pages. So yeah, we'll see what the book has to offer. Letting you know, this is also a $5 book. All right, then we have Daredevil. This is issue 14, the finale for this series before it starts over once again. 
Chip Zdarsky's run is over, guys. So we're going to see how this whole thing concludes, how it wraps up. Where does Daredevil go from here? We'll see. Good looking stuff. All right. I'm one issue behind on Astro Bots. This is issue four. This is just like uh, Transformers in a way. You know, it's just a different world. Artwork looks really good. It's not bogged down by a ton of dialogue, which I think is good and it makes it easy to understand. And this book is done by uh, Whatnot Publishing and it's also done by the person who did Transformers. All right, then we got another new number one and we have Alpha Flight. This is issue one. You know, I never was a huge Alpha Flight fan. I don't know how many issues of the series I ever read. I do own the original issue one, and uh, I'm just curious what this new series is about. So we'll see the direction it goes. I'll definitely talk about it on Worthy Ones, and Worthy Ones will be tomorrow on Thursday. That's its regular day. And then I got Void Rivals, the 1 in 10 variant. I seem to be getting the main cover and the 1 in 5 or 1 in 10 or 1 in whatever they have. So that is it, guys. There is the haul for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm so curious to see what you bought this week. Put it in the comment section below or join the Facebook group. And of course, guys, if you want to know what comic books are coming out next week, here are my top 10 most anticipated for... Uh, for next week and of course guys if you love the channel you know what you got to do and of course keep reading keep collecting keep doing all this keep buying keep collecting but always remember read through comics guys have a happy new comic book day take care see you soon bye